Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to enable Telnet Client on Windows 10. So by default, the Telnet Client isn't actually enabled. It's something that you have to go through and enable manually. So in Windows 10, uh, that's pretty straightforward. So we can do that by simply right-clicking the Start menu, selecting Programs and Features, and then we want to select Turn Windows Features On or Off. Uh, this will require administrator privileges. I'm currently logged in as the administrator, so I should not get prompted for credentials. However, if you are not an administrator, you will get prompted for administrator credentials here. So this will basically list the list of Windows features that are currently on and off. And all we want to do is find Telnet Client and Ticket and click OK. And that's going to install the Telnet Client. So as we can see, it's already done. So we can test that out in command prompt and say telnet google.com port 80 and it's connected straight away. So yeah, telnet client all working. Uh, I'll quickly remove that and then we can go through uh, enabling it via command line, which might be useful in some larger deployment scenarios. Uh, it also does actually install a bit quicker as well, I think I've noticed. So we do this with deployment image servicing and management, uh, which is DISM. So essentially the command looks something like this. So we're just enabling the Telnet client and boom, already done. So again, Telnet to Google on port 80 connects straight away. And yeah, that's how you enable the Telnet client in Windows 10, which will be really useful for uh, all kinds of things such as basic network troubleshooting. Uh, thanks for watching.